All right, let's break this video down. So first, no, I'm doing all my stupid stuff, but now right here is when I'm gonna get tension in my back, my posterior chain, uh, upper torso, you know, I'm just building tension everywhere. And what I'm also doing is pulling the tension out of the bar. So that bar is going to bend, obviously, with weight on it. So I'm getting that tension that's built up into the bar. I'm getting that out, getting nice and tight. My shoulders are slightly in front of the bar. Um, you know, nice back angle, nice and straight. Um, yeah, not too bad of a setup. So now I start my pull. So I have a tendency to bring my hips up a bit too much right here. My back is relatively flat. And, um, it probably shouldn't get that flat. Um, my deadlift, especially my snatch deadlift, is not very strong. And I think that's why my hips come up. Um, I just need to work on that strength on that first pull. So my hips come up, but I'm, I'm going to recover. So now you see my shoulders coming up a bit more. Ideally, the hips and the shoulders should be raising at the same time, but my hips come up, then my shoulders come up, which isn't ideal. Just got to work on that. Uh, my sh my shins are getting nice and vertical, and then I hit the the top of the knee position, which I find really important. We want the shoulders in front of the bar, which they are. You want a nice back angle. Um, it's pretty good. Um, you don't want the back super flat. You don't want to be too far in front. So I have a slight bend in my knees. Um, so now this is where the bulk of the lift really happens now. I'm getting that bar. I'm creating elevation. My heels are still on the ground here. I'm in that power position now. And now I start getting fully extended. I get into that fully. I'm in that extended position. My hips are fully open. All right. Now I start pulling underneath the bar when that bar is you know still going up and weightless pulling underneath um, my feet don't move out that much but I uh, I actually start my feet a little bit wider so my feet don't move too much I catch that weight where do I catch it about bam about right here slightly at parallel or right above parallel which is where you want to catch it if you catch it below parallel or if you catch it really deep, you're not going to have any, uh, your hips aren't going to be able to absorb that weight and it's just going to crash on you rather than <clears throat> absorbing that weight with a catch with your hips. So I catch it, ride it down, or not ride it down, but absorb the weight. I get nice and settled and then I start my way back up. Shoulders are nice and strong. Locked out, getting overhead. I have to take a little step forward. Not too bad. Um, let's see. Like I said, the main my main problem is the first pull. I got to work on that. And then I come to my toes a bit early, so I should probably. Mm, that's not too bad get a little bit more extension before I really start whipping that bar out or getting underneath it rather bar stays nice and close the whole time not too bad just gotta work on that first pull